But it was the big forwards of, uh, of this Canberra side. There's the young fellow who's played first grade, Glenn George, down at uh, Batemans Bay up until uh, last season. And uh, he's led this side very well. The second row forward, Matthew Baker, is the first player to uh, score points in this uh, sudden death semi-final. And uh, it's coming up shortly. A good step by Baker, a dummy, and then through for a try in a very handy position for Matthew Wood to convert. A penalty goal soon after gave Penrith an eight points to nil lead and then Manly hit back with a very good try um, just after half time to make it 8-4. There's the, uh, the referee giving a penalty right in front of the uprights. I don't like that sort of thing in uh, finals football. I think that's a gift two points and uh, if they can... Uh uh, just eliminate those penalties. I'll be a I'll be a happier person in these semi-finals. I don't like to see uh, those sort of things uh, put aside down by two two points. Here's a good try to young Craig Hancock stepping inside. This gave Manly some heart. Down by eight points to four at this stage, but uh, they just couldn't continue. Canberra too big, too strong, and uh, really just too experienced for the uh, for the Manly side. And they've got some outstanding talent in their centres, Mark Bell and uh, also Stuart Stanton. And we'll see uh, the young fellow uh, Stanton and Bell also score tries from the uh, from the dummy half position. There's one of them uh, uh, going in for a try now. That's the centre three-quarter, Stuart Stanton, and uh, he scored a, uh, a strong try for the Canberra Raiders in a handy position for Matthew Wood to convert. And then later in the game, it was uh, his centre partner, Mark Bell, who scored. Here's Manley. Didn't stop trying to their credit. They're coached by uh, my good mate and the player that's played most number of games in Sydney football, the former Kangaroo captain, Maxi Krilich, who led the 1982 invincibles to uh, England and France. They were the first Australian side overseas to remain unbeaten. Here's a, uh, a close thing. The referees ruled a knock-on over the line and uh, and uh, didn't give the uh, the try on... Yes, he did. He gave the try on that occasion to Mark Bell. So that was the end of the uh, the try-scoring section. There's the, uh, the conversion right between the uprights and a very good win to Canberra, coached by Mick Doyle over Manly, who were uh, coached by Max Krillich. And uh, two very good sides. I think Canberra will... Uh, maybe find it a bit hard to uh, uh, to win the Premiership because there's a classy eastern suburb side which we're going to see coming up shortly on the winners. But there's the full-time siren. Canberra 20 beat Manly Warringah 4.